hello students this is the third video on overheads in the first video i have explained the concept of overheads and the primary distribution how to divide the expenditure overhead expenditure in various departments primary distribution i have covered in the second video i have explained the secondary distribution that is how the service along with the primary distribution how the service department expenses overhead expenses will be distributed in the production department that is secondary distribution i have explained and in both the videos i have solved the problems to make you better understand so if you did not see the video do watch that video for better understanding so in this video i will cover the solved problems three problems i will take up one is primary distribution and two is secondary distribution very important video as far as the cost accounting students are concerned so basis of apportionment already it is provided in the earlier videos also again i kept here for the quick review sake this is the basis of apportionment that is primary distribution how the expenditure of various nature various items uh, will be divided or apportioned in the uh, production as well as service department right these are the basis of apportionment so we'll take up one question uh factory has two departments two production department two service department the following expenditure production a b and service c and d and we have provided the area number of employees total wages value of plant value of stock and lighting units and further we have provided the expenditure towards supervision repairs to plant lighting employees contribution to esi that is employee stock state insurance rent depreciation of plant and insurance related to stock power and canteen expenses apportion the above cost to various department on most equitable basis and draw an overhead analysis sheet so we'll solve this problem very quickly we will go through already have provided the answer here this is called as overhead distribution summary so how did we divide the expenditure supervision we have divided on number of employees because supervision will be done on the employees repairs to plant is done on the value of plant because uh, value of the plant is the basis for division of expenditure under production as well as service department lighting light units we have given that is light points based on that we have divided employees contribution to esi that we have divided on number of employees basis rent on the floor area depreciation on value of plant because depreciation is charged on plant only insurance the stock insurance we have given so therefore we have distributed on value of stock power value of plant because power is consumed by machineries or plants therefore value of plant basis we have divided because in this question we have not provided horse power of the machines or uh, other information with the relevant information to divide the expenditure therefore we took the value of plant then canteen number of employees because canteen will serve the foods to the food to the employee therefore on number of employees ratio we have divided then we made the total expenditure then summation we have made that is a b c d this is called as primary distribution where we have distributed the entire expenditure clear i hope i made you understand we'll take up the next question uh, this is primary dist secondary distribution uh, chart where some uh, what we call information how to divide the secondary distribution expenses like service department expenses div divided on production department how to do on what basis that is provided here already in the second video i have furnished this information you can watch the video for better understanding sake right we will further proceed with the problem so here the same same type of uh, question with the information but in this case we have to do secondary distribution even that is you bear in mind so we have two departments a b or production x and y are service departments in this question we have clearly stated that x renders services worth 12000 to y and whereas y and the balance to y to a and b balance of uh, amount of y sorry x renders services 12000 to y and balance to a and b in the ratio of 3 to 2 y renders services to a and b in the ratio of 9 is to 1 this i will explain while working out the problem but we have information like floor area asset value 
Cost power, number of workers, light points, expenses, chargeable, depreciation, rent, insurance, power, canteen, and electricity. So this expenditure we have to divide one this primary we have to do as well as secondary both we have to do in this question. When you come to the answer, first primary distribution we have done depreciation value of asset already aware rent floor area we have divided insurance value of asset we presume that the insurance has been taken on asset power horsepower of the machine is provided specifically in this question therefore we have divided on horsepower of the machine canteen as usual number of workers we have divided electricity light points we have divided so like this we have divided the expenditure between a b x and y Right? Clearly, I have provided the ratio of basis of apportionment. Once we have done this, we need to make the summation of A, B and X, Y. All the department including production and service department. Later, once it is done, the further secondary distribution, what we have to do, the service department expenditures will be apportioned on the basis of suitable uh, basis on production department A and B. First, X we have taken. X renders services 12,000 to Y. Directly 12,000 we have recorded in the Y's column. X total came to how much? 42,600 of which 12,000 given to Y. And balance is left over is 30,600. That we have distributed between A and B in the ratio of two is to, 3 is to 2 which is given in the question. Right? In this way we have divided the expenditure. Next further what did we do? We have made the summation of Y department. That is in X column if you see I kept minus. 42,600 so that it should be 0 because we have already distributed 42,600. Now Y's total we made that came to 31,800. That expenditure we are distributing in A and B in the ratio of 9 is to 1 as it is given in the question. So when we divide into 9 is to 1, 28,620 and 3,180. Again we kept the minus 31,800 in Y's column so that we can make 0. X and Y will be 0. And all the expenses like primary and secondary distribution is done. Then we make the summation of A and B so that we get the value of total overhead cost of A and B. Right? Like this we have to do this problem. We will take a one more question. So in this question also the same thing. Right? Uh, then uh, we have uh, provided the information regarding production AB and production ABC service D and E. 2 service department, 3 production department. And I am reading the last lines. So these are very significant. Apportion the uh, expenses of service department to E proportionate to direct wages. So service department E's total expenditure will be divided in direct wages ratio and service department D in the ratio 5 is to 2 is to 3 ratio. Right? Similarly, I have provided every calculation here. And most important is Direct wages, we have considered D and E here, right? This situation was not there in the earlier questions. So, direct wages and direct material of production department should not be considered, right? Overhead distribution summary in the sense, direct expenses are not overhead. Direct expenses of production department are form a part of prime cost. Whereas, the direct expenditure of service departments, right? That should be considered as overhead because whatever expenditure incurred in service department, whether direct or indirect, that should be apportioned to the production department. That you bear in mind. That is a very significant point is there in this question. Then further, we have divided the expenditure based on suitable ratios, suitable proportion, motive power, kilo, uh, kilowatt, uh, lighting, light points, stores, overhead, direct material, amenities to staff, staff, number of employees. Right, depreciation value of plant, repairs and maintenance value of plant, general overhead, direct wages. When we don't find any suitable manner, then we will distribute the expenditure in direct wages ratio. Then rent and taxes on area basis. Right, Like this we have divided, then we made the summation of D and E. As per statement given in the question, D expenditure total for 4,515. That we have distributed in the given ratio 5 to 3. Right? Then E's expenditure comes to 6,010 rupees that we have distributed in the given uh, uh, ratio that is direct wages he has clearly stated in the question in that ratio we have divided. Then we made the summation production A, B, C totals we got then C, D and E will be 0. Right? So like this we have to 
do the problems. I have covered different types of problem for your better understanding stick. So do follow my channel and try to understand. Clear? So I have given the basic information of overhead, primary and secondary distribution problems. So I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe my channel, mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more informative and qualitative videos. Thank you very much.